I'm at the library for the first time in a while. If you've been watching When Dreams Become Reality from the very beginning, you'll know that this is where I started sending in, this is where I began with my videos because I didn't have internet at my house. So I would come to the library to use the internet so that I can put it on YouTube, convert it to YouTube or send it through YouTube. I'm coming back today because I'm going to be starting a non-profit. I was going to start the non-profit through Family Dreams Fitness, but through advice from my community advisor and others, and with also my research, I realized that it's better to have Family Dreams Fitness as the parent company and have a non-profit underneath it, like underneath that umbrella. So I'm going to start a non-profit because Family Dreams Fitness, we're all for the community and we represent doing positive things so it would be great to have an attached nonprofit to it so it would be easier to do both things without there being any like cloudy lines or gray lines so if somebody's donating money to the, the nonprofit or the charity they know those proceeds are going directly to what we're saying rather than giving family dreams fitness the money and then it be in the gray as far as are they using that for personal money or are they using it for the cause now I have two separate things where if you're supporting Family Dreams Fitness, this money is going towards the business. And then if you're supporting the nonprofit, which I'll announce the name later, at another time, it will be going towards the nonprofit. For right now, I'm going to the library to get some more books so I can research some more information about nonprofits. And I want to make sure I do everything step by step correctly and make sure this is perfect the first time. This library trip was a success. I ended up getting a book. Um, by one of the hosts on Shark Tank, Damon John, his book, The Power of Being Broke. This, and then the subtitle, How Empty Pockets, a Tight Budget, and a Hunger for Success Can Become Your Greatest Competitive Advantage. I feel like I would, this would be a great book for me because every, like the title itself, I'm living the title, so I would love to see how much I relate with another man who's probably gone through similar things that I've gone through and he's super successful clothing line he has multiple businesses so I would love to get his insight I like learning from other people's experiences success and failure so I'll be reading this I'll be reading that book this weekend I mean I have another basketball tournament I have a lot going on but I can squeeze in some reading time now after Leaving the library, I have about an hour and a half to get to my client's house in Pembroke Pines. They will train them, and I think today is also payday, so that's good. It's always good to get paid. And then I'll have some time to read the book. Right now I'm on my way to the second tournament in two weeks for the Terra Wolves for our basketball team. We're at playing at a tournament in, at Everglades High School, which is in Miramar, in Broward County. This would be a good chance to see how well they grow, how fast they learn new information, and how they respond to losing so badly in the first tournament. See if they come with a little bit more energy today and, and bring some more fight to them. We have three games today and one game tomorrow, so should be another fun weekend filled with tough games and good competition.